obviously we're going to be trying to read a lot this week so um yeah i think i'll definitely be able to read this stop while you stop while you're ahead Hello. <laughs> As many of you know, I'm trying to read 100 books this year. I want to keep doing stuff that helps me reach my Goodreads reading goal. So this week, um, I asked on Twitter for any tips you guys had for reading a lot or reading quickly. And basically, they're going to rule my week of reading. So everything I read this week and how I read is going to be dictated by how you guys read quickly. Today I'm actually going to York, which is why I've got a scarf on, I look ridiculous. Um, I'm going out to York, so maybe not the best day to start filming, but like... So I'm not going to get loads of reading done today. And so what I figured was one thing that kept coming up and coming up and coming up was graphic novels. And so today, which is Friday, um, I'm going to read a graphic novel to start this vlog off. And can you guess what it is? No. Um, I'm going to read volume two of Heartstopper today. I'm going to start it this morning and then um, when I come home this evening, hopefully I'll finish it. Graphic novels like don't take that long to read, especially Heartstopper. It's a pretty quick read. So I think I can definitely finish it today. And then tomorrow I will tell you the rest of my reading plans and the rest of my TBR for this week. Some of the days I'm scared of. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Make it help. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> I'm back from York. One of my favorite restaurants in York is this pancake restaurant. Double Dutch Pancake House? Something like that. And it's so good. I got this hot chocolate and it was a Biscoff hot chocolate, as in like the Lotus Biscoff biscuits. Oh my God. It, it tasted like... It, I've never tasted something like that. It was crazy and it was so thick. Literally best hot chocolate I've ever had. It was life changing. Like, I'm getting horny. <laughs> I'm getting horny. But <laughs> I may have also bought some books. <laughs> <laughs> So first I popped into a kind of like a secondhand bookstore that's right by York Cathedral. I think it's like the Minster Gate bookstop or something like that. And they have like this bargain basement where a lot, some of the books are secondhand, but a lot of them are also new for reduced prices. Like you can get a 12 pound book for like three pound and it's like new condition. Um, just some like old older titles I guess like not like, new releases and so I had a little peruse in there and I was like telling myself Megan you're not allowed to get anything that isn't on your TBR and I actually found the tree of yoga so for those of you who don't know I really like doing yoga I love following yoga with Adrian's channel on YouTube this is a book I've just heard kind of her recommend a lot and a lot of people recommend a lot and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna react to it I don't know if I necessarily think about yoga in the way that this book does. Really excited to get my hands on that. And then I had to go into Waterstones. I just had to. And I wasn't planning on buying anything. I really wasn't. I wasn't planning on buying anything. But I did have Waterstones vouchers. And listen, it's fine. It's fine. I just bought some books. I bought some books. They were all buy one, get one half price, which is what, <laughs> which is what caused me to buy them. And then like, once I picked up two, I picked up four. The first book I wanted to pick up, what, oh, I did pick up, no, oh, I bought it, was The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. So this is kind of like a traditional murder mystery. And oh my God, I'm obsessed. All I want to read right now is murder mystery. Like that is the zone I am in. I <laughs> listened to the audiobook of Murder on the Orient Express recently and I'm, I'm obsessed. This is, I think, like in a remote hunting lodge in the Scottish wilderness. Tell me that doesn't get you excited. Tell me that doesn't get you excited. Oh, I just... 
This is so good. Oh my god. I think I just want to. I just want to read murder mystery. Like I'm so. I want to listen to every Agatha Christie audiobook, and I've decided that I'm going to listen to them in order. So then alongside that, for the buy one, get one half price, I picked up Bunny by Mona Awad. And okay, I've heard how messed up this is. I've heard that it's weird. I've heard that it's a little bit like freaky shit, you know? But I like weird stuff. And for a while, I was scared off by this a little bit. I was kind of like, ooh... Am I about to put myself through that? Like, I don't know if I quite have the balls. I just saw it, and I saw it in the paperback. I'd all, I think the paperback has only just come out in the UK. So, um, like, when it was in hardback, it was more expensive. I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. But now it's in paperback, I felt like, okay, I can do it. I can do it. I think I'll leave characters at some kind of university, and there's a clique of girls who call themselves the Bunnies. And I think, I think there's uh, trigger warnings for, like, animal abuse and I just I don't know I don't think I want to know too much going into it but yeah pick that one up then I picked up Wilder Girls by Rory Power again listen we know on this channel that anything that Kayla from Books and Lala recommends sis is going to be reading eventually and so I've been waiting for this to come out in the UK it hasn't come out in the UK uh, I think it's only just come out now so I love the cover I think everyone loves the cover again a little bit weird I think there's these girls who um there's some kind of infection and they all start mutating and then one of the girls goes missing and they need to figure out where she's gone and what's happened and it's scary and eerie and it just sounds like a good time and then you can tell, you can just tell him on that mystery, you can just tell him on that mystery hype. You can just tell, because then next I picked up The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. So this is the second in the Truly Devious series, and um, I've read the first one, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I just really want to get through this series this year. This is one of the main series that I want to get through this year. I think it was in my series I Need to Finish video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So, um, yeah, I saw this, and I was like, oh, okay. I just need to get it. So, that's my book haul. <laughs> Let's talk about Heartstopper. So, I'm halfway through volume two, and I'm dumb, okay? Let's talk about this. So, <laughs> so volume one, I was like, oh, that's like 300 pages, maybe a bit under. And then I'd look at volume two and I'd get it, and I'm like, 500 pages? Wow, we're, we're, we're going out here. And then when I got volume three, I was like, 900 pages? Oh my god, that's so big, but it doesn't look that much bigger. And then I realised when I started this book. <laughs> this book starts at page 256, so they run on. The pages carry on. <laughs> I can't believe I thought volume 3 was 900 pages. <laughs> anyway, apart from that, I am in love. I was so worried. I was so worried that volume 2, like either wouldn't connect with me in the same way because I just felt like volume one was so special. But if anything, this may even be better. Like their facial expressions are still incredible. She's using more techniques to kind of set the scene in this one. So like when it's raining on the conservatory, there's loads of like patter, 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 patters written around. Or maybe if someone shoves someone or pats someone, it will say pat, pat on the page. And it's just such a cool way to read because you just, you just feel like you can feel the pat, pat. <laughs> And they're just, it's just the cutest book. It's just everything you need if you need a palate cleanser. You've been reading, I've been reading loads of fantasy re recently and I needed something that wasn't fantasy. And this is just, it's just it. It's just it. I cannot tell you. Okay, graphic novels are definitely the way to go because I've barely read today and I'm already halfway through. I'm definitely going to finish this tonight and I'll just feel great about myself starting this week. This was definitely, I just, I'm a genius, my mind. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. Oh my God, Alid, Alid's in this, Alid last. If you've read Radio Silence, Alid from that has just turned up and he's friends with Charlie and yo, I just die, I just die. Oh, I love all the characters. Like all the characters are just perfect. Not even just Nick and Charlie, like every character. Morning. <laughs> I was supposed to check in with you again about Heartstopper last night, but I fell asleep. So let's just talk about it. It's just so good. No one is out here doing it like Alice Oseman. No one is out here. No one is out here doing it for us like Alice Oseman. Honestly, this is, it's just one of the most like heartwarming things I've ever read. She's so good with body language and facial expressions, which I don't think all graphic novels 
are. It's definitely a very coming to terms with coming out story um, for one of our characters and kind of them grappling with figuring out what their sexuality is and kind of like accepting wanting to come out. Um, and it's just so beautifully done. So honestly, if you haven't picked up this series yet, I don't know what you're doing. Like, it's just so good. And I can't re wait to read the third one. So let's talk about the rest of the week. So for the rest of the week, there's gonna be like some general rules that my reading is inspired by. And then each day is gonna have like another big rule, if that makes sense. So generally, what a lot of you said, was reading more than one book at a time. Now I usually read a physical book and an audio book at a time, but we're gonna be reading more than that at once this time. Audio books, everyone said audio books and short audio books. And I'm gonna be playing up into that because a lot of old people also said read children's or middle grade books. So I was like, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be listening to the audio books for the Mallory Towers series by Enid Blyton. I loved that series when I was younger. Um, and I've just finished the first audio book the other day. Oh my God, the sun just left us. It was like fine. It was a three star, but I think they're just something really easy to listen to. Just in terms of like, I have to read this this month. I'm also gonna be reading Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. For those of you who don't know, I have like 12 books that I'm trying to read this year that are kind of like the books I would never pick up otherwise. <laughs> Um, and this is one of them. This was my February pick. So I've got to read it in February. And so I'm reading it this week. Otherwise I would never read it. I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the channel, but I DNF'd White Teeth by Zadie Smith, which was the January pick. I'll oh, stuff you if you don't like it, you know, get over it. I DNF'd it at like 80 pages, 90 pages. It just wasn't for me. I, it was so boring. It was like the most boring thing I've ever read. But I feel pretty good about Catch 22. It's long. Um, but obviously we're going to be trying to read a lot this week. So, um, yeah, I think I'll definitely be able to read this. Stop while you're, stop while you're ahead. You know, people said read every free time. So I'm going to be trying to read every free time that I have, which I kind of do anyway, but I've been on a bit of a sim binge at the moment. Like I just can't stop playing it if I'm honest. So um, if I play that, I will listen to an audio book. So it still counts as reading. The main thing that we're gonna be implementing today, if I can find it, was from um, Madison's story. And she said, if you're a student, rewarding yourself with reading breaks is a great motivator to get schoolwork studying done, while also decreasing insanity and providing more reading opportunities. Oh my God, I haven't told you the third thing I'm reading. Okay, so a lot of people said eBooks as well, reading something on your phone whenever you've got a spare moment like if you're turning up to a lecture and you're waiting outside read something on your phone so before i get into what i've just told you i'm also going to be reading the crown of embers by ray carlson if you can see that i'm co-hosting if you don't know a read along for this series this is the second book and that's our february read so i need to read that this month as well so this video is just to try and get me to read all the books that i have to read this month i'm gonna be scheduling reading breaks really regularly. So I'm gonna be working for a little bit and reading for a little bit. And that's my day to day. Usually if I'm spending a day working, like doing uni work, I actually find it quite difficult to get reading done. I just kind of put it to one side and forget about it. But hopefully today, if I say, okay, read 10 pages of this or read a bit of this, do you know what I mean? Or listen to a bit of the audiobook, um, I think that it will probably help. Good evening. I just had a bit of a day today where it just kind of got away from me. I did take breaks when I was working, when I was reading, and I think it was actually like kind of refreshing because I was like, okay, just get this little bit of work done, then you can have a little reading break. And I, I think it helped me carry on working. So I think that's definitely something I'm gonna keep implementing throughout the rest of the week. I actually read my ebook, um, Crown of Embers, whilst I was drying my hair, which is like a big deal. <laughs> Because I always scroll through Twitter or Instagram like aimlessly when I'm drying my hair. But today I was like, no, okay, I'm going to read my book. And so I read like, I don't know, 12 pages or something. But like, at least I did it, you know. But the majority of my reading today actually is my audiobook. Because I 
prepped lunch and dinner for the next couple of days. So I cooked loads, like I cooked for quite a while. And so I've read 62% of um, the second Mallory Towers book, which I think is about 90 pages. So I've read 90 pages of that. Usually when I reread series or books, I, I feel like I'm remembering them and imagining them and like visualizing the scenes like I did when I was younger. So like when I read Love Aubrey or Girl Missing or ginger snaps for example i felt like i was visualizing it in the same settings as i did when i read it when i was younger but mallory towers seems so distant and unfamiliar to me like i feel like i haven't read these books <laughs> but i suppose i would have been like seven or something ridiculous like that I, I probably would have been really young whereas the other ones i maybe would have been a bit older but um it's just a bit of fun like it's just light-hearted books i don't think i think if i was rating it a uh, not for my enjoyment I never know whether to do this on Goodreads, whether to rate for my enjoyment or like as a book, because I'd probably rate it like four stars, these books, if I was rating them as kids books. Like, what do I think of this for kids? But I, my rating's always what was my enjoyment. And like a three star is, it was good. Like I enjoyed myself, you know, but it wasn't, I didn't really, really like it. And I didn't love it. And the narrator is really good. Like she's really good at coming up with different voices for all the characters, like all the girls. She's really good at it and it's so engaging. I read 90 pages of that. I read about 25 pages of Crown of Embers just throughout the day. And then I have started Catch 22 this evening, but I've only read two pages. <laughs> so at least I've started all three books, but um, yeah, this just wasn't gonna happen today. Hopefully I can get like a good way through this tomorrow. So it's now Sunday. It's actually Sunday evening. Sundays, I don't get a lot of reading done because I'm editing the whole day. But today I actually finished a bit earlier. It's about half five now. Um, and so I'm gonna upload in, I think about half an hour, I think I'll upload a bit earlier than usual. And so I've got the whole evening to read. So I've still got a lot of time to read. I'm not really planning on doing much else. So I have read a bit today. Um, I've read quite a bit of my audio book again. I've only got about half an hour of my time left of that. So um, I'm hoping I'm gonna finish that in a bit. I might just do a few little things whilst I, hair looks weird um yeah I'm <laughs> I might just do a few little bits while I while I listen to that and then I read like about 15 pages of Catch-22 yeah, I, I don't know what's going, going on, on yet <laughs> I know it's supposed to be satire but I am confused I am confused I'm not gonna lie to you it's really weird I don't know if I'm just dumb or I just think I haven't quite got into it yet so hopefully by tonight I want to get, I'm on page 22 now. I want to get at least a page, like, 100. <laughs> so the prompt today was from Paperback Jedi. And it was, I employ a raw system if I need to hardcore read a lot or read faster. Every X amount of pages, I get chocolate or bubble tea or a snack or something. Now, I don't want to, like, eat loads. <laughs> I think I'm going to get some, set some page goals and say I can have like a biscuit after the page goals. And then later this evening, I might make a peppermint tea. Now, I'm only making that because of this. I don't actually drink the peppermint tea, but like, I want to. So, <laughs> um, I might do that this evening and like, let myself have some tea after a certain amount of pages. <laughs> tell but I've only just woken up I need to go wash my hair last night the snack thing didn't go that well <laughs> so I had the biscuit but I didn't read <laughs> uh, I think I was just like yesterday I obviously edited a vlog and it had been quite long and I'd just been hearing myself talk about books all day and I just wanted to play the sims instead so that's what I did I don't even listen to my audiobook oh that was loud so today we're really gonna try and like push through especially because the prompt today is uh, from Books and Me. They said that if they have an ebook version on their phone, uh, they'll make a rule that they have to, if they want to, if they want to check Twitter or YouTube on their phone, they have to read at least ten pages beforehand. Now I'm gonna say five pages because I know otherwise it just won't work out. I, I'd rather do it more in shorter spurts with like five pages, and I can always read more. Like I can always start and want to read more than the five pages. So that's what we're gonna do today, and today is gonna be the best reading day ever because it snowed overnight like barely let me show you look at that snow i mean it, like, you know what i mean it's like barely snow but it's snow throughout the day even if like 
in breaks at uni and stuff because my thing I'll probably have a break halfway like I'm gonna try and read and not um not go on Twitter <laughs> I mean it's bad should we see I spend about five or six hours on my phone a day it tells me oh okay so last week across the whole seven days I spent 10 hours on Twitter that's not great is it um, and I'm going to try and read some of Catch Me Too, but I think we're mainly going to be focusing on the ebook today. And I've decided I'm going to listen to City of Ghosts by Victoria Sw- 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 Schwab as my uh, next audiobook because I just wanted to listen to something different than the Manu Towers books. And it sticks with, it's a short audiobook that's like middle grade, um, which is what like everyone kind of recommended. So um, I think I'm going to listen to that. And I feel like that's such a good thing to listen to today because it's all snowy and like dark outside. So. I feel like it's a great reading day because when it snows, you just want to read. That's all you want to do. So I don't want to do any of my uni work today. I just want to read. <laughs> okay, bye. The reading strategy of making myself read five pages of the book before I go on Twitter is going great because I've read like over 80 pages today. I'm on page 105, so I'm about a quarter into the book. So that's going great. The rest of my life, not so much. I just napped in the middle of the day for the, I can't remember the last time I did that. And um, I haven't done any uni work. And I should go to the gym in an hour. I really should. You know when you should, but you feel so tired. And you know it's the one thing that's probably going to make you feel better. But, like, you still don't want to do it. In terms of the book, I'm actually enjoying it a lot. The beginning, I felt was a bit disjointed. The kind of few opening chapters. I feel like everyone was just a different character from how we left them in the first book. Like, just the way people were talking and acting towards each other was very strange to me. We can do this. The whole day is still ahead of us. Okay. Okay. Everything's great. Everything's great. You know those people who are super aesthetic? Sometimes I want to be like them, but then I sometimes realise that I just like... I sometimes... Well, sometimes I try. Sometimes I try for you, but like... We all know that ain't quite me. Okay, <laughs> bye. I love you, bye. <laughs> I Okay, bye. I went to the gym, I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> it's just what I needed. Like I felt so great afterwards and like so happy um, about having gone. So like if you're if you're starting to get in a bit of a rut at this time of year, I'll just like try and make yourself do it. It's so hard. There's so many times where I felt like that and I haven't made myself do it. But um, yeah, I don't feel really happy about that. And um, yeah, I'm just making some dinner now. Um, we're gonna have lamb burgers with like pita, rocket, halloumi, and some wedges. I just made the wedges. Tom makes the lamb burgers because he's good at that. But I'm, I make the wedges. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I started City of Ghosts on the way to the gym. I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Um, I'm only like two or three chapters in and I don't think I'm going to end up listening to any more tonight. It's like fine, but I'm a bit nervous about Victoria Schwab's writing because I gave Vicious five stars and Ventral two stars and they're the only two books I've read of hers. And so I feel like I don't have... <laughs> it could go either way, but because it's a middle grade, I don't know if I can see myself giving it five stars. I just don't tend to do that it's very rarely do I do that so I don't know if I spoke enough about Manory Towers like if you read that when you were younger definitely listen to audiobooks it's so fun I'm really excited to get into more of Crown of Embers tonight I don't know if I'm going to read much of Catch-22 I'm just like not I don't want to <laughs> but I don't want to DNF it because I DNF'd white teeth and I don't want to DNF all these books that I'm picking out of that mug um I'm in my kitchen because it has the best lighting at night I've got no trousers on, so I'm hoping no one walks by my windows. <laughs> so I've just been reading all evening, and I actually read today of Crown of Embers. I read 220 pages of that today. Yo! <laughs> no, hang on a minute, I like this. Oh my God! This tip of like making myself read instead of going on Twitter has worked because I feel like I did that throughout the day and I feel like I'd read so much. And then this evening I was like, I just want to carry on having read a lot. You know, I really want to do well and like read loads. And so I've just sat and read and like barely gone on Twitter like I would usually do. I'm really proud of myself. And then I read about, um, I just worked out about 30 pages of City of Ghosts, which is more than I thought. I thought it would be about 
about 20. So we're sitting at about 255 in total between the two pages today, which I'm so happy with. And I don't feel like I've like sat and forced myself to read or like read all day and not done anything else. Like I feel like I've done a lot of other stuff today as well alongside that. And so yeah, I'm really enjoying Crown of Embers. It's definitely like a slower paced book, but sometimes I like them. Like sometimes in a story of loads of stuff is happening, I'm like, you know, but in this, like it's much more, I like the politics. I like the like maneuverings. I just really like it. I'm really enjoying it. I don't think it's gonna be a five star, but I think it's a strong four star for me. So hopefully I'll finish that tomorrow. I've only got about an hour and a half of reading of it left. My tip tomorrow, I already know, <laughs> cause I have to wake up in time for it, is to wake up about half an hour earlier. So I have half an hour of reading in the morning. And I have to be in uni for half nine tomorrow and I'm in the whole day. Well, the whole day I'm into like half three. I think I'll pick up Crown of Embers again, just cause I kinda wanna finish it tomorrow and have it out of the way. So, I'm gonna go for that. And yeah, I'm I'm just feeling great. Like today has been a really good reading day. Like I feel like I've done really well. So I'm gonna go sleep now because I'm tired, but I feel good. And I feel like tomorrow, once I've like got uni out of the way, I will be, I look weird. Um, I'll be really excited to read, so yeah. I'm running so late before uni, but um, I just wanted to check in and say that I I really enjoyed reading for half an hour when I woke up this morning. Like usually I would sit in bed and go on social media for half an hour every morning, um, like as I wake up, but actually reading meant I did something productive and I feel like I've made progress in something like first thing in the morning. So I think I'm gonna try and do that more in the mornings, like reading instead of going on social media. Um, I've only got about 100 pages of the book left now, so it won't take me long to finish it at all, and um, I'll definitely finish it today, and hopefully we can read some more. Anyway, I need to go to uni, so peace out. Hello, friends. <laughs> uh, apologies, it's pancake day, right? Does doesn't everyone does everyone have pancake day? Is it like a worldwide thing or is it just a UK thing? I don't know. But um, Tom's going to get ready to make pancakes for dinner. So if you hear noises, that's what's going on. I got home from uni and I was like, I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read. I thought about doing uni work, but maybe some of you can relate and it's, it's you just don't wanna do it. <laughs> I read and I finished Crown of Embers. I finished it, guys. I finished this book. I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it four stars. I gave the first book in the series four stars. There are moments I was like, this could be a five star, but I felt the ending was a bit like a cop out. Like I felt like it was kind of like, oh really, that's what we're gonna go. It wasn't a bad ending, like it was fine, but I just would have enjoyed the direction that the end book would go in if the ending had gone the way I wanted it to go, if that makes sense. So I was kind of like, ah. Oh. Really? I, I, I was thinking about it, and if you see my last vlog, which was me um, reading, like making progress in some hyped booktube series, uh, you, Gemini isn't really fantasy, but the other two were fantasy, and this is fantasy, and they're all middle books in the series, like middle book in trilogies. So that's three I've read, like in the last couple of books I've read, have all been middle books in fantasy series. And like, there's a, they all kind of follow the same formula, and I feel like I'm just a bit bored of it. For the rest of the evening, I'm gonna eat pancakes, I'm gonna plan my videos for tomorrow and hopefully I'm gonna read some more of Catch 22. So I've got, I'm thinking, I've got today, tomorrow and the day after to read it because I want to finish it by then and it's over 500 pages. Oh. Uh, I'm just about to record some videos today, but um, yeah, I didn't read any Catch 22 last night. <laughs> ah. right in here. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. But yes, there was a great reading day. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to read today, so we'll see. Today's task, I think is from Zoe. She goes, this one is wild, but it works every time. I read a hell, a whole hell of a lot more when I actually get off Twitter and read. Wild, right? No, but for real, she goes, how many books I read in December when I made reading a priority again. So she doesn't actually tell me to not go on Twitter, but I'm taking that as I'm not allowed to go on Twitter today. I spend way too much of my day on it. So today I'm not allowed to go on Twitter. I've there's been moments, I'm not gonna lie, where I've like, I've clicked on it without even thinking, and then I've had to like hurriedly get off it. But um, yeah, I've gotta try not to get onto it today, and hopefully read a lot of Catch-22, because I don't understand what's going on. And I think that makes me dumb. I have made the decision to DNF Catch-22. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I've already ever 
DNF one book before and it was White Teeth, which was the other book I picked out of that jar so far of me trying to read the books I'd been avoiding. I'm forcing myself to pick it up and I'm not enjoying the reading experience and I have no idea what's going on. And I just don't think I'm in the right like mental capacity to read it at the moment. Not like anything's wrong, but just like, I'm just not making sense of it at the moment. And I feel dumb <laughs> and I know it probably should make sense, but for some reason my brain just isn't working with it. I bought both this and White Teeth at the start of January last year when I was just getting back into reading. And I remember I went into this secondhand bookshop, which I go into quite a lot in York. And I just picked up any books that I'd that I knew the names of essentially, or I'd heard other people read, or I felt like I should read, you know, I felt like I should read some Zadie Smith, I felt like I should read Catch-22. But I think if I hadn't have bought that then, and I was to see this in a shop now, I wouldn't pick it up. Um, just because I think I've learned more about what I want to read and what I enjoy reading, and I just don't think I'd be drawn to this. But because I've bought it and I've started it, there is something about it that I want to read <laughs> but I just don't think it's right for right now so I'm DNFing it and I'm okay with that decision I'm okay with it it's a shame but I just don't want to force myself to read something I'm not enjoying right now um and like I would have to uh, finish this by tomorrow and I have like 460 pages to read it's just not gonna happen so we're DNFing it I feel very bad <laughs> I do not want to comment why <laughs> Why? So I think now until the end of the video I'm just going to focus on finishing City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab on audiobook. I've got to edit tonight and edit tomorrow anyway and then I'm going out in the evening tomorrow so I wasn't going to have a loads of time to read now anyway and yeah I just like I think if you're having to force yourself to pick something up it's just not the right moment for it but I'm still going to keep it I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to go eat some ragamummers and I'm gonna edit my audiobook recommendations video which I will link if you haven't seen it it should be the video before this one um so yeah I feel liberated I feel liberated having decided I'm gonna dnf this oh my god my delivery driver's ringing me okay bye hello Ta-da! <laughs> so I didn't do a very good job of checking in last night or today <laughs> so yesterday the whole task of you know not going on twitter didn't really work. <laughs> I did go on Twitter <laughs> quite well. It worked for like most of the day, but then in the evening I just gave up. Um, reading today, I just tried to finish uh, City of Bones, which I did finish. I gave it three stars. I've read a lot of middle grades recently that I've preferred to it. And I just wasn't that into the story. The story felt really flat to me. I kind of only half listened. Does that make sense? I felt like the big kind of denouement at the end was just nothing do you know what I mean it just wasn't it wasn't for me in terms of like how the reading actually went this week I finished four books which I think in seven days is fairly decent but I, I know that one was a graphic novel and two were kids books <laughs> I mean I, I do know that I read 1,188 pages in total. Um, so that divided by seven is about 170 pages per day, which I think is really decent. Like 170 pages a day, I don't think is to be like sneered at. I think that's pretty good. So I'm happy with how this video went. I think I definitely read more this week following your tips than I would have done if I hadn't have followed your tips. And I think there's definitely quite a few I'm gonna kind of carry on in my reading going forward. Like having an ebook to always read, I never thought to do that before, like ever. And now I have to have an ebook to like read at those little moments when you wouldn't be reading otherwise. Um, and try and spend less time on Twitter. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely implement stuff in this video. So I think it was a success. And I think four books. A thousand, almost 200 pages. Like, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think I should be proud of myself. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you think you could implement any of these tips into your reading yourself. Uh, and still let me know whether you've got any more tips for me because I, I always want to hear them. I always want to be able to read more. That's what I'm trying to do all of this year. So, yeah, let me know that down below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you very, very soon with another one. Bye. Mm -hmm.